Greetings. Today, I'm honored to introduce a very dear friend, acclaimed colleague, and master filmmaker. For many decades, Sam Pollard has been a steady beacon, not only for black filmmakers, but for all filmmakers, men or women, who have made the critical observation of a human species the center of their work. As a film director, editor, and producer, Sam Pollard has earned the unconditional respect of our industry. And as a professor at New York University, Sam is still actively nurturing new generations of filmmakers and storytellers. Although he already received several Peabody Awards for his works, honoring him this year with the Peabody Career Achievement Award is not only well-deserved, but timely. Through his unprecedented body of work, and his wise and knowledgeable presence, Sam Pollard has become an unmatched chronicler of the American experience, and in particular, the African-American experience, in all its complexity, and justice, aspirations, and silences. From Eyes on the Prize 2, the landmark documentary series recounting the civil rights movement, to Four Little Girls, and When the Levees Broke, his collaborations with director Spike Lee on the 1963 Birmingham church bombings and the devastation of New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina. To most recently, MLK FBI, celebrated as an exemplary historical documentary, Sam has remained a forceful and grounded artist, stoically undisturbed by noise and fury. Sam's legendary generosity of spirit and humanism ensures that his work and his art will endure. The qualification of national treasurer is used to reward men and women who have served their community well, artistically, professionally, but first and foremost as human beings. Sam Pollard is assuredly among the best of the few, and this without any concession. Eighty-five percent of artists in major American art museum collections are white, and then 1.2 percent are black. The general public is not aware of the contributions African American artists had made to American culture in general. Many of the artists who are shown here never would have been seen. It helps us remember who we are, all of us. Whenever you made work, it ought to be about something, and it ought to be about something that mattered. Los Angeles, Detroit, Newark, cities across the country were erupting. There were so few positive African-American images on television. We needed to reimagine ourselves on this American landscape. I'm Ellis Hayes, this friend. Welcome to Seoul. Ellis was a gardener, and he cultivated all of these people. Black voices speaking to the problems of our time. Ellis said, if we're going to do something for the black community, it's got to be a lot deeper, jazzier, even more controversial. Put him up, I said! Let's go! Let go of me! That's my level! What are you doing? We're just friends! This is just a big misunderstanding. That's all it is. Slow. Turn around. Violence is self-defeating. He who lives by the sword will perish by the sword. He realized how sick this country was. We were trying to reveal the truth about segregation. J. Edgar Hoover is famous for saying that he feared the rise of a black messiah. The FBI says it's clear Martin Luther King Jr. is the most dangerous Negro in America. And we have to use every resource at our disposal to destroy him. I want to thank the Peabody for giving me the 2020 Peabody Special Award. Uh, it's a real honor to get this award. Uh, it's been a long, long, fruitful career for me, starting way back in the 1970s when I was mentored and taught by the legendary Victor Konevsky, who showed me how to be an editor and a storyteller. And then I was very fortunate to meet a gentleman named George Bowers, who taught me how to be not just an editor, but also how to be the professional editor and understanding the business from all aspects. And then finally, in 1980, George introduced me to Mr. Joe, Mr. St. Clair Bourne, 
who showed me that it was important that we tell our stories as African Americans, as our and as documentary filmmakers and as editors. Saint and I went on to make a series of films together about the uh, Blanks and Hughes and Gordon Parks. I've had my own directing career working on Eyes on the Prize 2, The Rise and Fall of Jim Crow, Slavery by Another Name, going back to T-Town, and so many others. It's been an important part of understanding that our stories need to be told and that we're part of the American experience. I want to thank the Peabody's for giving me this 2020 Peabody Special Award and tip my hat to those who helped me get to this point. St. George and Victor Konevsky. Thank you.